Hey there, this is Joe McDonald, uh, Classic Jam 85 on YouTube, and uh, I'm about to show you a little recipe that I'm going to make up here, and uh, I think today we're going to be making pan-fried drumsticks, and uh, I'm going to put my own little thing on this, my own little spin. So. One part of having a uh, one-man show here is that I'm going to have to be running both the camera and cooking. As you can see, this is the area that I'll be working with. What we're going to do here is I'm going to throw a, uh, a pretty hefty tablespoon of butter here in the pan and we're going to set that pan on medium. And uh, we're also going to throw a little bit of olive oil in there to mix with the butter. I'm also then going to coat the uh, butter and oil mixture with a little bit of, um, of breadcrumbs here. The oil, butter, and breadcrumb mixture is all but mixed up here. For the actual sauce, I didn't buy anything store-bought. I'm just going to uh, make something here. We're going to put a little bit of uh, Wishier sauce, just a tad, on the bottom of this thing. All right? And then I'm going to add some, some Vidalia onion vinaigrette. be generous with that, as that would be the base. And then I'm also going to put this spicy ranch sauce. Okay. Uh, again, would be uh, generous with that. It's probably a preference over which of the sauces. Mm. Not bad. That, uh, that you prefer. I'd probably give that a good mix. Get the Worcestershire sauce up. So what we're gonna do? I've turned everything. I've turned everything down to low. Just putting that in here because I didn't want the oil to splash, obviously. So with that said, we've got um, we've got them in. So now I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. Sorry again. I'm going to put a little bit of chili powder on them and in the mix here. Mix them out. Okay. Next, I'm going to throw more breadcrumbs into the mix here. Actually start to hear it heating up a little bit. Now, that little sauce thing that I made, I'm going to pour that all over actual drumsticks. Right now I've just made myself a little bit more of a mixture. I'm putting a little poultry seasoning on there, which uh, you may find weird, but uh, you know, to each their own. I'm now going to add a little bit of pepper into the mix. Be generous. You want it to be a little spicy, I think. Put this camera up just a tad. Oops, sorry. Wrong way. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit of everything since I'm just the only one here. I've got this going on a 10 minute uh, uh, timer as well. And um, every 10 minutes, I'm going to uh, flip the mix and probably do a repeat session. I've got my tongs right here. About three minutes have passed. And I've let, let it cook openly now. I'm actually, and I've, uh, what I've done is I've added three key ingredients here, and I've put each one up. Uh, seasoned salt, regular salt, and a roasted garlic and bell pepper mix. I've added those three items to this, and now I'm actually going to put a lid on this. And I'm probably going to just let it go now for the next uh, 6 minutes, 40 seconds until I have to turn it at, uh, at the 10 minute mark. Alright, we are at the 10 minute mark here and I'm just going to simply turn these babies over and hope to God they're not burnt. We're approaching the 20 minute mark and 
this is what it looks like here. And uh, right now I've got it down a little bit lower than medium. And uh, I just semi turn the uh, drumsticks around again. I'm gonna coat them with that sauce. A mixture of the uh, Vidalia and uh, Vidalia, the uh, spicy ranch and a tiny bit of Worcestershire sauce in there. Make sure we get everything out of this. Because we're gonna be going back on another 10 minute run here. Actually, you know what? Now we're gonna start doing it in increments of five, I think. I don't want anything to burn. Um, this time, a little bit, you know, a little bit more again with the uh, breadcrumbs. I was a little generous. Um, and now we're going to start getting rid of the ingredients. I told you we were done with the poultry. Uh, this is probably the last time that I put any tiny bit of salt, regular salt. So we're done with the salt. And, uh, and at this point, yeah, I think uh, a little bit of pepper again. You know, we don't want these to be too spicy. And I also think, you know, this is one of the last times that I'm going to apply any kind of chili powder. So, again, let's put a little bit of more of that roasted red pepper and garlic mix. And then we just simply, uh, you know, put the lid on once again. Heat up just a tad. And we'll wait for another five minutes. We're approaching the 30 minute mark here, and I'm going to keep them covered up until 30 minutes. Um, that's when um, we're going to do some flips without even adding, uh, without adding lunch. So, and then we're going to do one final application of sauce uh, after it's all said and done. All right, now we are at 30 minutes. So, a bit. Lid off. That's what we've got so far. So we're simply just going to flip them once more. They're really looking good here. All right, then we're just going to, uh, we're just going to switch this up once again. As we are now. 35 minutes, something like that. At this point, I've well, done for a of time. And I don't really think it matters all that much. I'm completely in the line, I'm sorry. And like I said, all I'm going to do here is run crumbs. And that'll be it. And it's going to be cooking for another six minutes. On low here. So we've done 44 minutes on the stove. Which typically I wanted to get around 45 here. So what I'm going to do now is this thing's definitely crispy at this point. And I said that um, it's the camera here. I've got to do more than one thing here at one time. So I put it on low, and at this point I'm just going to throw the last of the breadcrumbs in there. Do a final coating of seasoned salt. A final dash of pepper. And the final roasted garlic. Garlic, uh, roasted, uh, yeah, roasted garlic and roasted pepper. And then finally, we're just gonna apply liberally here with the last of our sauce. And I'm actually going to keep a little bit in there because I'm gonna I'll let them go for about a minute or so, and then I will uh, just roll them over, and uh, you ought to see it when it's done next. And after 45 minutes on the stove, as you can hear the alarm going off, this is the result. Well, I'm about to eat, so I guess that's time for this.
this thing end. It's been another video brought to you by Joe McDonald, someone who gets bored when his fiance is working a double every other Sunday. Hope you enjoyed, and honestly, I hope it's good. See ya.